tired. I get really nervous in front of crowds, you know? <laughs> it's the same routine, but a different audience each time we do it. Hey there, we still have work today, right? Huh, let's see. A delivery to the Stellar Military Hospital ship, maybe? A bio-container from a Galactic Empire biological research facility. Well, it's just a delivery. You can go home if you want to. Uh, really? A student's gotta study, you know. We're gonna be busy next week. A delivery to Schwarzberg and a privacy job on the luxury liner Queen Esmeralda. You'll need to be in top shape, Captain. Okay! You take care of the rest. Bye. Roger. chest of your pirate uniform? Remember how I was customizing it before? It was so fun! I made a bunch of variations. I stayed up all night. All night? Yep. I want to be your personal stylist. You might be in the news a lot more with my designs, right? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I want to uh... do what I can to help you, anything I can. So if there's any outfit you'd like me to make, let me know. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to go check in. What? Uh, what? What's wrong? Normally, I have a message from the Benton Maru before lunch. Well, maybe they're busy. Huh. I didn't think the crew was that busy today. I wonder if something happened. Still no word? No, that's odd. You realize the crew does that to keep tabs on you as their captain. It's truly strange that they'd forget. Maybe something happened, you think? Oh, oh, they called me? Huh? Hello? Yeah? Yeah? Yep. One second. Captain, it's an emergency. An emergency? Mm-hmm. Hello? Marika? Misa? What happened to your voice? A cold, more or less. Huh? We're on the hospital ship. The entire crew is in isolation. Isolation? Why? Remember that cat monkey bio container? It appears a timer was set to open it. Five of them were carrying an infectious disease with cold-like symptoms. It's a nasty bug that spread almost instantly through the ship's ventilation system. What? For now, the symptoms are coughing and fever. <coughs> They've said we're in no danger. How about you, Marika? You feeling okay? Captain! You okay? Don't grow up to be bad people like us, Captain! <laughs> Hakame, that didn't make any sense! I'm fine for now, I think. Good. So, that's why you didn't check in then? Sorry. The checkups took a while. Well... What about our next job? I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to be here for a while. The Benton Maru's been disinfected and we should recover in about a week. <coughs> <coughs> but someone planned to use this virus for some shady stuff. They aren't certain a vaccine will work. We can't go outside for at least two weeks, so they can make sure we're completely well. Two weeks? That long? So anyway, sorry. But could you call the insurance company? Hmm? You're the captain, and this is a good chance for you to start learning the business end, so you should call them. <sighs> Sounds like a problem. Hey, Ririka-san, Misa said to call the insurance company, but I don't... She wants you to call that ass Harold? Jeez. Just thinking about him makes me mad. Ow! Uh, uh, hot! Hot! D did something happen? Harold of the Harold Lloyd Insurance Union and I don't get along. 
Once I tried increasing the number of machine guns to make the performance flashier, and he started whining about depreciation schedules. Plus, he charges a ton. Ugh, they're basically mobsters. They take payments from both the cruise ships and the pirates. Naturally, pirates get into a lot of trouble, so they need insurance. Oh, I see. Anyway, be careful. He's a grown-up and a skilled negotiator. Keep your wits and don't give him the advantage. Oh, yeah, right. <sighs> okay, let's try moving them. Grab the control stick. Hey, what's Marka up to today? Don't know. Maybe she's doing some new pirate job in the club room. Huh? Like what? Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Marika Kato, captain of the Benton Mori! I'm sure. Agent for the Herald Lord Insurance Union. Uh, you aren't Harold's son? I took over five years ago. Shut your mouth. Misha didn't tell you. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. I won't eat you. Well, not right away. Oh, right. Harold was an obstinate little guy to get along with, and he fought a lot with the pirates. He was on especially bad terms with Blaster Rerica. They get into fist fights. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for the agency, I'm a pacifist, so I prefer to get along with everyone, you dear. Yes. Well, I hope we can too. Then let's get to the point. We understand that Bentamaru's crew is in isolation. What about the Bentamaru itself? It's locked on autopilot. The crew is expected to stay in isolation for two weeks. Unfortunately, that means we'll have to cancel the Schwartzberg delivery, as well as the Queen Esmeralda attack. I'm sorry, there's no other way. Understood. I'll make alternate arrangements for those two jobs. But the problem is what happens afterwards. Uh, I'm told that the isolation period is two weeks, but that they aren't sure that the vaccine will work, and the hospital will want to get detailed treatment data. So they'll be in isolation for at least a month. A month? That's obstruction of business. It's more serious than that. What do you mean? One month of no activity, the Vincent Maru Pirates license will be revoked. What? However, Captain, should you board the Vincent Maru and conduct normal pirate business during that time, the license will be renewed. Oh, good. Then uh, I'll... Supposed to run the whole thing by myself. Oh, what should I do? I made you some coffee. Thank you. Rurika san, prayer, kidnapping, and recruitment. Which do you think is the best option? Huh? You see, I was told. You have three options. Option one pray that the crew is released while your pirate's license is still valid. You hear? Option two, if you don't think you'll make it, you can rescue your crew from the hospital ship. Neither is very realistic. Then you have one option left. Find yourself a new crew. What? Find a new crew? But I... Anyway, you only need to complete one pirate job. What you choose is up to you, Captain Marika. <laughs> I'm out! <sighs> given it a lot of thought, and maybe recruitment would be the best option. I see. Where do you think I would find good sailors? Maybe the floating airport? You think a spaceship crew would come down to Earth? You find sailors in a port, just as you always have. A port, huh? The closest port. Hmm. The relay station. Oh. <laughs> Airport Relay Station Shuttle Flight 714. The control tower has just cleared us, so we'll...
will be taxiing to the runway for takeoff shortly. Please fasten your seatbelts and remain seated. And we hope you all have a safe and enjoyable flight. May I sit here? Gruyer? <laughs> Did you follow me? Yeah. But why? Well, first you used the club room communicator for a long time yesterday. Additionally, Mommy-san said you didn't go to work, which means... There's something happening on the vent in Maru, isn't there? <sighs> but still, you shouldn't... Oh, don't be silly. Does anyone need a reason to help out a friend? <gasps> I'm not here as a member of the royal family, but merely as Gruyer. I want to help you out. That is, if you'll let me. Should I not have come? No, thanks. But you're still a princess. Just remember that, okay? Of course I will. <laughs> schoolgirl for once. I hope she doesn't rest too long and forget she's the captain. The same goes for every one of us here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. So this is the relay station? It's my first time here. It isn't a place for the princess of a whole country to go. Hey, look. See? Everyone's looking at you. No, they're looking at you, Captain. Because I'm in disguise. Whoa. You should keep in mind how famous you are. <laughs> you ought to disguise yourself before you start looking for another clue. D disguise? Just leave it to me, Captain. Two suits would cost uh, about this much. Hmm? That much? You could get a nice one for this amount. That's inexpensive. Screw uh, your huh? I feel really weird in this. Oh, it looks good on you. <laughs> Even at the sailor's office downtown, no one will recognize you. Why is the skirt so short? Why can't I wear pants? Wearing a pantsuit is beneath Captain Marika of the Benton Maru. Come on. But why? First, we should check the Sailor's Office data bank. How many crew have handled a Category 1 spaceship for three years or more? There's bound to be a few, I would guess. Uh, uh, there's so many. Let's narrow it down. Five years or more of actual experience and an Imperial Class 1 navigator's license. Oh. Oh. This is going to take a while. Um, Marika-san? Hmm? As the Benton Maru's captain, what do you think is most important in your crew? What's most important? Hmm, I've never thought about it before. But I guess when I became captain, the crew was already assembled. Well, this might be a good chance to figure that out, then. Hmm. What's most important, huh? The Benton Maru is a pretty easy workplace for a pirate ship. I wonder why. What do you think the Benton Maru's crew has going for them, Captain? Mmm, technical skill, maybe? And let me see. Good personalities? Alrighty then. But still, I honestly don't know how to judge a sailor. And, therefore, I'm counting on you. Uh, who, me? Uh, but I don't know anything about spaceships. That's okay. I'm counting on your ability to judge people. You've met a lot of people, right? Well, if I can help, I guess... Okay, let's go find some. Go oh. to find some people. already. That's true. Ah! 
You like this one? Oh, what? I'm no interest in a shake with such low-class color. You want to try it, right? Uh, uh, <sighs> Ririka says the strange drinks in places like this can be dangerous if you're not careful. I'll pass, thanks. Then, two of these. <sighs> I can't be too picky. But they're going to be on my ship. What's everyone doing anyway? Girls! Hmm? I heard you were looking for sailors. Is that true? Uh, yes? It's your lucky day, miss. We have people who know how to crew a ship right here. We'll work for cheap. So, are you going to hire all of us or not, little missy? Oh. You don't look so hard up for work that you'd take on a job without asking for details. You need an explanation? In space, no one cares, so long as you have the skills or the money. Naturally, I don't care, but I require a skilled crew. Uh. If you don't mind, would you tell me what kind of ship you pilot, Captain? Wait just a minute. How'd you know I was the captain? By your bearing, I think. You just had that look about you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're exactly as I'd heard. Can't slip a thing past you, Missy. <laughs> Dad, that's enough. Oh. Wait, is that... Uh, Chiaki chan Then that means... <gasps> yes, my name is Kinjo Kurahara, captain of the pirate ship Barbalusa. <gasps> so, this is the Barbalusa. Looks as old as the Benton Maru, huh? Well, it's been modified a bit. Piloting with the newest equipment dulls your senses as a sailor. That's what my crew says. <laughs> Do you have time for this? Aren't you looking for a crew for the Benton Maru? Huh? How did you know? We have the same insurance company. Oh, I see. So you know everything. Our crew is taking over the pirating duties for the Queen Esmeralda for you. You are? Sorry. Thank you very much. Well, we help each other when we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so did you find anyone? No one. I talked to some and got turned down. I'm sure you did. Why? Because I went around and told everyone not to sign on if the captain of the Bintamaru asked them. <laughs> what? But I was totally in disguise! You weren't fooling anyone. But... Oh man, I thought it was the perfect disguise. But why would you do something mean like that? It wasn't mean at all. If a bunch of random people began crewing the Benton Maru, there would be more than a few problems for you. That's why I came all the way up here to interview them myself. But you didn't find any, did you? Because I have no idea how to pick pirates, gosh! I'm still kind of new at this. And I couldn't help either. <sighs> There are a lot of ways to pick a crew. Skill, personality, strength. Each captain is different. That's what makes each ship unique. Captain Kato, what is the most important thing you look for in a crew member? Mm, skill, personality, a lot of things. But most importantly, whether I can trust them. I guess that's it. But you can't honestly trust someone you just met now, can you? Mm. Take a minute and think about the people you know. Uh, there are plenty of people you know and trust who can pilot a spaceship, aren't there? Yes, ma'am, I understand. What? what? You're so dense. I think but the Yacht Club might do it. No way. <laughs> I heard about it! The whole Benton Maru crew is totally sick! Oh, come on, girl! Why didn't you tell us sooner? You know we would help you out! Let's all do our best, okay? That's right! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> I'm really impressed, Chiki-sama! You pulled everything together! Not really. Either way, I'm happy for the chance to work with you again. <laughs> okay. So our next practice cruise will be pirating on the Benton Maru. Got it? Right! You can do anything as long as you've got the energy. I hope this will be okay. <sighs> Blue ribbons! 
I win. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, Kane wins again? Damn it. I guess that bottle of scotch stays with me. One more. One more hey, round. Lisa. Huh? Think we should contact Marika Chan soon? Her yacht club practice cruise starts today. Practice cruise? Yeah, she said it was a last minute thing. Well, being on a ship will help to keep the captain from getting rusty. I want to get back out there and up into the sky. I'm going to lose my edge if I'm stuck in here too long. It's just for a while. Stay strong. Perhaps that isn't. Uh-huh. But what are they going to do about a navigator's license? And the girls are going to have to find a new advisor. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But Marik is licensed, so it'll be fine. This is the Sea of the Morning Star Relay Station Control Tower. Odette 2, you are cleared for launch. Thank you. I hope everything keeps going smoothly at the relay station. You have a nice journey as well, Captain McDougal. We're cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Great job, President. The control tower never suspected a thing. This is Captain Kane McDougal. Wow, hard to believe that's a dummy. Way to go, senpai. Look how you crack her open. Hey, don't give me weird names. <laughs> we will now begin Odette 2's practice cruise. This time, we will be performing some pirating duties as well. Stay on top of your game. And overseeing everything will be Marika Kato, captain of the Benton Maru. So I want you all to look alive and stay sharp. Do the Yacht Club proud, girls, okay? Right! right. Let's do this, everyone! I guess Marika's in space now. Chiaki-chan also left on the cruise right after she transferred. Mama, you should join the Yacht Club, too. I'm fine. The port's good enough for me. Uh, uh, make yourself at home! Uh. Here, the house blend. Thank you. Oh, wow, what's that? Oh, I'm considering switching careers. Marika's doing so much. I wanted to as well. I know the feeling! You want to do what you can, don't you? I do too. Oh, maybe that's why everyone follows Marika. Chiaki-chan, the princess, and me too. I've taught my daughter a good many things to make her an excellent captain. Being able to say that makes me happy as a mother. Confirming course. Here is the Odette 2's flight plan as submitted to the control tower. We skirt around the stellar military staging area at the Sea of the Morning Star Lagrange point, then enter extraplanetary orbit. But our true plan is to head to this staging area. That's where the Benton Maru is moored. From there, it will be easy to board the ship. This is the Odette 2's primary objective. So we can deploy the launch from the approach point, is that right? No. I want to avoid detection by the autonomous satellites, so we'll do it earlier. But... Marika! They say there are stowaways in the hangar! Huh? You really should remember you're a princess. But I consider myself a Yacht Club member more than a princess. And I was doing you a favor by not telling you when the practice cruise would be. Neither of us is particularly interested in our royal positions. My sister and I wish to aid you in whatever endeavor you choose. And after all, it might be kind of useful to have a couple of princesses around in a pinch, Captain. Uh... If we're all done here, I'd like to make preparations for the ship's launch. Chiaki-chan, did you help them stow away? Yes. The more crew, the better for us all. Ugh. You should have told me. President, it's time. Just another minute. I could try a different format, but the Odette 2's programming prioritizes versatility and survival, so it's a bad match. I don't want to give it any weird quirks. We want our fellow students still running this thing in a hundred years, don't we? Uh, you know.
kiddo. You sound just like Jenny. Hmm? Okay. Even if the worst happens and no one returns, it will function autonomously. Let's go. Launching now. Make sure not to get shaken off. Roger. Ah! Stay calm. I'm sorry. Sea of the Morning Star. It's so pretty. Oh, wow. So that's how our ship looks. You're all about to see a whole lot more. What's that? What's up? The Benton Morrow has a visitor. I'll switch the screen over to display it. The Hakuo Academy Yacht Club? Huh? Does that mean Marika-chan's heading for the Benton Maru with the Yacht Club? She may intend to board. Oh, yeah? Why do you say that? Our pirating license. Misa! Did you pack that outfit? It's easier to blend in wearing this. So I just picked up some information. Information? I overheard the nurses talking. They plan to extend our isolation here by two weeks. Uh. <sighs> I knew it. Oh, well, now what am I gonna do? I'll lose even more of my edge! More importantly, our pirating business! We'll have to turn down a lot of jobs! It's much worse than that. If we can't use the Benton Morrow for another two weeks, our letter of mark will be revoked. Correct. Then could it be that Marika-chan is trying to protect our pirating license, maybe? <sighs> uh? Oh. No way! Misa's checking in on me? What do I do? Maybe you should answer it? She'll be suspicious if you don't. Oh, yeah. Hello, this is Marika. Oh, Marika. Let's see. Wasn't your practice cruise today? Huh? Oh, yes. We we're practicing our spacewalk. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. How are you doing there? Our symptoms are gone and we're doing fine. We're thinking of staging a breakout soon. No, take your time. <laughs> All right. Don't work too hard, okay? We can't come bail you out like last time. Oh, I know. I'm not worried. You're a big girl. Do as you please, just don't get yourself killed. Yeah, tell everyone to take care, okay? Will do. Good luck, Captain. <sighs> she didn't say anything, huh? I don't know how long this deception will hold, but I don't want to worry anybody. I expected that you'd ask her some leading questions. Why would I do that? It's the captain's decision, so I'll follow. If she's not telling us, I'm sure Marika has a very good reason. You're letting the captain and the yacht club take the Benton Morrow on a pirating mission? That's nuts! Amateurs can't fly that thing! He's right. Our electronics are all customized. There's no manual. If they screw up... Perhaps it will break down. The moment they turn on the power. <laughs> In that case, let's make them a manual. Uh -huh. A guide that will walk even a total piloting amateur through the steps. Uh, uh, well, I guess we do have to help out little Miss Marika. <laughs> <laughs> and my students, too. Better than letting them mess with it, I think. Now then. Okay, I'll okay, get a computer. So start with the basic. I hope we make it in time.
ahead and boot it up. Electronics and other stuff. The girls from the yacht club are already on board the ship. This ain't good. Stand up, guys, now. So this is a pirate comm scene. <laughs> I bet electronic warfare here is a lot of fun. Oh, we're not doing any. Marika, what is this chair? No, that's... Uh, 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 uh. How pretty. Uh, hold it, Haramaki. What's going to happen if the military sees that shot? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Please, guys, don't touch anything. Why do these girls think they're even doing? They've lost their minds. Let's hurry with those manuals. Now then, now that we're on board, we need to get it flying. But I don't remember the exact launch procedure right now. I don't suppose it matches the Barbalusas. Of course not. <laughs> Naturally. Is there a manual? Oh, I'm sure it's here somewhere. The ship's been heavily modified. A standard manual won't help at all. I see that. But worrying won't help either. So let's try. <laughs> the converter reactor at low propulsion. Watch it closely and increase the speed gradually. Set a course for extraplanetary orbit. For now, let's get some distance from Roger, Cal Roger. Oh no, they're going to launch! <laughs> Stabilize at low propulsion. Impurities and acid will clog the fuel lines and cleaning will be a nightmare. I just finished How writing long will that. It take to finish, guys. Five minutes. I hope the Fenton Maru makes it. I'll have it done in two. Anyone not seated, prepare for turbulence. Now then. Go on!
I'm glad we made it in time. The Benton Maru survived. I can't go on. Now we can finally resume our card game. Now, let's do an FTL jump. <laughs> It'll be a little difficult. To carry out our piracy, we'll need to jump to the enemy ship. So, I think we should practice right now. I see. Hey, we didn't put anything about FTL jumps in that manual. If they screw up, they could blow out the engine. But what do we do? That's strange. There's nothing in the manual that covers FTL jumps. Huh? There isn't? Well, then should we contact the insurance company and ask that one be sent over? <laughs> Trouble! Stellar military vessel heading toward us! They must have seen the laser blast. We need to leave at once, Captain. Are we fast enough to shake them? Impossible. We launched at low propulsion, so the propellant hasn't had time to stabilize yet. Uh... <laughs> Marika-san. Marika. Marika. We'll jump! She's nuts! But if the Star oh. Alliance catches her, that'll be a problem too! At these times, Marika usually has a plan. I honestly think we should have a little faith in our captain. The first step of an FTL jump is knowing your exact position and coordinates. As long as you get the settings right, the computer will take care of the rest automatically. Next, we have to set the flight plan. This should be automatic as well. problem is the engine. The Vinton Maru has two converter reactors, Alpha and Beta. But Sam Daime mentioned that they're pretty old, so they can be difficult. Specifically, it's difficult to stabilize Beta's output. I see. Converter reactors are a complicated pain in the butt to begin with, and we're using them past their life cycle. But we have a good crew to bridge the difference. I finally figured out the engine now. We're in a hurry this time, so I think we should only use Alpha for the jump. It's just too risky using Beta. Yeah, let's do it. Way to go, Captain. You don't need no manual. She's seen us do it, so she should know. It would actually be strange if she couldn't get it to launch. Please, Alpha, just work like usual. Cord, is the stellar off. military jamming looking yet? In progress! <laughs> there they are. Too. 
now. Who wants second? Oh, I'll have me, now. please. Come on, okay. me as well. On it. We already do FTL jumps pretty well. Tomorrow we should start practicing our piracy. <laughs> but there isn't anything else today, is there? Yes, there is. Uh, did, did I forget something? Room assignments. Where is everyone going to sleep? Oh, oh that's right. I forgot. Oh. Thanks for the food. <laughs> you are just as harsh as ever, Chiaki. Am I? As a fellow pirate, you want Marika-san to improve as fast as she can, am I correct? It isn't like that. Wouldn't you guys be upset if you had nowhere to sleep? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the taste of passion <laughs> capsizing. <laughs> I bet the Benton Maru's serving dinner now. Can Marika-chan cook? One of the Yacht Club members is good. It'll be fine. But is this really okay? Oh. They can FTL jump, but they can't tune the converter reactors? And it isn't a good idea to work the alpha reactor too hard. I can't see it. I hope they can keep it running. If you're worried, I can turn on another onboard camera. Oh. There are more besides the one that the Kurihara girl destroyed. Let's let them try to handle things themselves. So, any problems in here? We're okay. Good night. Good night, Captain. You guys look okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> any problems in here? So sorry. We're fine. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. <sighs> Senpai, it's almost lights out. Oh, Roger. Will you be all right in here all by yourself? Yeah, I'll have someone take over later. <laughs> and there's a lot I want to review. Well, okay then. Good night. Good night, Senpai. Uh, I'm tired. You should get some sleep or you'll have a hard time tomorrow. That fast? Why? But we said... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see. Got it. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll handle it. Bye. President? Uh, it's time for a ship change. Got it. Thanks very much. yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah. Go on. Go ahead and get changed. <laughs> yeah, I know, Check. right? Is it cute? Check. I bought it to see yeah. everything. <laughs> Captain Marika of the Benton Maru. Oh, we've been waiting for this. You look cool. You look absolutely wonderful in that outfit, Marika-san. Marika-san really does look like a pirate. It's really great. <laughs> um, that's enough clapping, really. <clears throat> okay, now I'll go over our pirate job. This is the luxury liner Princess Apricot. It's our target. But they are also regular customers. They have provided us with information. 
and they trust us. You can think of piracy as a stage show for a luxury liner. The whole thing is planned, so it isn't too dangerous. And you don't need to worry about any unplanned accidents. <gasps> oh, uh, this might be easier than I expected. It isn't quite that simple. Huh? Cheeky Chan's absolutely right. There's a lot more to piracy than simply flying the ship around. There are a bunch of procedures. Procedures? Yes. First, we FTL jump in front of the Princess Apricot and we ambush them. That's part one. Captain, about that. Huh? I realized this during our last FTL jump. Relying solely on the Alpha Reactor alone is a little dangerous. She's right. Otherwise, why have two? So I thought about it, and I wondered if we could use the Alpha and Beta together in concert. Raise the Alpha output a little, and then make minor stabilization adjustments to Beta, and it should work. Or maybe then again, we shouldn't. No, that's really smart. Good job. My family's cruiser is a two-engine, too. And sometimes when one is out of whack, that's how we do it. Just thought it might work here. I'll leave it to you. Yoyoi-chan can oversee the engine. Oh, thank you. Once we have a visual on the cruise ship, we'll initiate electronic warfare. We're gonna take over their controls and announce ourselves. Got it? Uh... Uh, President? Uh... Yeah, that's my job. Yeah, and don't overdo it, okay? Uh-uh, yeah, I know. Then it gets really hard again. After touchdown, we have to get in close to the liner. We need to keep the customers entertained, so we'll have to dock by force at a range visible from the windows. Keep them entertained? How long do we do that? Uh, two or three minutes, I guess? Uh, even entering Poi takes longer than that. Well, we can't keep the customers waiting. Not only can we not keep them waiting, if we mess up the docking and damage their ship, we'll have to pay a penalty. R really Come on, Tia Kitan. Don't scare them. And once you've boarded their ship, you do your piracy duties, then return to the Benton Maru, and you're done. even be able to do it safely? Oh, don't be silly. Didn't you win the middle school tournament? In a yacht, sure. But I don't know if I can pilot a spaceship through complex maneuvers when I've never been on one before. We are beginners when you think about it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, girls. You can't start complaining now. You must do it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to be harsh, but we just can't back out now. I know it's my fault that you're all involved, but I will not let you fail. So, I want you to believe in me, and I want you to follow me. Uh, I... I'll go with you. What about you guys? Of course we will. I'm sorry for saying something so strange. Sorry, Marika. I'll help you out with the helm as much as I can, Aya. Thank you very much. I shall also help you, Captain. I know I'm late in saying this, but thanks, everyone. And now, it's time for some piracy! We've 
not waiting for this. The Mexican mob has completed its electronic attack on the prisoner's intercut system. No! What? Not complete? Um, uh, we're about to complete our attack. Hmm. They're not quite up to their usual standards. The transponder and Captain Marika's voice print are a match, Captain. Then they're not imposters, at least. I apologize for the mistake. We ask the Captain to please prepare all items for surrender to the Benton Maru. We're in the process of talking with the Princess Apricot. So resistance is filled with Now, oh, calm down. That was pretty rough, if you ask me. They say detailed tactical planning and careful piloting are the Benton Maru's selling points. Maybe their normal crew is ill and they have trainees today. It's always a possibility. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Attention all passengers. This is Ronald Harley, your captain. The pirates of the Benton Maru are preparing to board. But there's no need to fear. Let us welcome them with applause. This is so exciting. I've never seen pirates before. <laughs> Me neither. It's a valuable experience. It'll be an immense story to tell. straight-laced group. Maybe they're rebranding. What is it? <laughs> Not good. The customers are getting suspicious. Do you think we should go and assist? Onisama, given our position, that could be a problem for Marika-sama and the other girls. What should we do about this? Come on, Marika. <laughs> um, that was a warning shot. I will repeat this. We are scary space pirates. Please don't forget that, everyone! As long as you passengers follow our orders, we will guarantee your complete safety. Follow our orders, okay? Come on, get moving. Please stay calm. Attention, people! We are pirates after all! Hand over all your treasure! come from? Mommy-san gave them to us. Mommy did? When we picked up those snacks at the lamp house, well, she said we shouldn't wear our uniforms while pirating. So, she didn't sleep for three days so she could make those for us. That sounds just like her. Choosing cosplay outfits. I hope it doesn't become a habit or anything. <laughs> Thank you very much for your cooperation. Thank you very much! You're cute. How old are you? Do you have a boyfriend? Um... Would you like to huh? maybe have some tea later? Um. <gasps> Did you happen to forget that we're pirates? Sorry! Thanks for cooperating. This is from our captain. Oh, how nice of you. Shosan of the insurance company asked him to prepare it. You've done a great job, and the customers appear to be enjoying themselves more than usual. I see. I admit, we were a bit worried because your approach was so rocky, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is a strange thing for a victim of piracy to say, but we look forward to our continued business with you. Well, as do we. I was worried 
for a bit, but it all worked out in the end for us. You were so nervous, I, but you did an outstanding job piloting that huge ship. <gasps> Thank you very much. Everyone really enjoyed themselves. You more than anyone. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> next time I think I want to try a different outfit. Yeah, next time I'm thinking ninja. Well, either way, every single one of you did really well for your first time. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime, Captain Marka. Really? It looked like so much fun. Do you, do you think I could try it on the Barbalusa sometime? No way. Just remember your position, princess. Uh. Uh. Oh. Come on, you eat something too, Marika-san. It'll be gone soon. Oh, yeah. Ugh, I'm so tired. Wait. Uh, you can't fall asleep like that. Come on, change into your pajamas, brush your teeth, and sleep. Okay? Oh, right. You know what? You sound just like a mother. Sorry to be annoying. No, it's the opposite. Rurika-san rarely says stuff like that. So thank you. Come to think of it, wasn't Rin acting a little strange to you? Oh? She seemed kind of distracted or something. Really? Maybe she was just tired. Yeah. I wonder what's wrong. Uh. I'm sorry to bother you when you're resting, but I have to talk to you. Mm -hmm. About Rin Chan. Grunhilda saw her communicating with someone, and I'm not sure who it is. It sounded important, so I had to tell you. Speaking with someone on the outside? What were they discussing? Don't know. I couldn't hear what they were saying. It kind of stuck with me, so I kept an eye on her, and I saw her doing it a few more times. Who was she talking with? I should have asked her at the time, but she's kind of intimidating. So it didn't seem as though I could. Did I do wrong? I don't want to say this about the president, but it's possible that she's a spy. <gasps> I hate to admit it, but that's the whole reason I originally joined the Yacht Club in the first place. So anything is possible. Mm. And the president was put on probation in middle school for hacking, am I correct? Maybe someone hired her for her skills, and that's what ended up bringing her to the Benton Maru. So our president is a pirate as well? Or maybe part of another organization? Oh no. I don't think that could be the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's ask her ourselves. I thought you might call for me soon. Then you know why you're here, so please tell us. Sure thing. I figured you'd pick up on it, Marika. I am the captain, after all. <laughs> so, out with it. Who are you talking with at night? Please, Rin, tell us what's wrong. Actually, I have a job for the Benton Maru if you want. Uh, a job? I wish to kidnap the former president of the Hakuo Academy Yacht Club, Jenny Doolittle. Huh? Kidnap? <sighs> kidnap Jenny Senpai? What do you mean? To be precise, it's a pickup job disguised as a kidnapping. Jenny agreed to it. Rather, Jenny is... She's actually the one hiring you. Uh-huh. The ship, heading to Diamond, is the Central Lanes Liner Ultimate Ferry. I want you to get Jenny off of it. Then the person you've been speaking to? It was Jenny. We were discussing the best way for her to hire you. As a fellow pirate, let me be clear. Pirates cannot actually commit crimes. All the work we do comes from agencies. 
We can only engage in piracy due to the contracts we have with space liners and the insurance companies. On this trip, I finally started to understand that concept. You aren't just a bunch who do whatever you want. Really, you're a very meticulous group. That's why I want to hire the Benton Maru. Marika already knows us well, and she is a talented captain. You flatter me, senpai. So, what's the reason we're kidnapping Jenny again? You do realize that her family is part of the largest transport company in the galaxy, Hugh and Doolittle, right? Yes, I'd heard that. Well, from what I've heard, Hugh and Doolittle Interstellar Transportation is extremely aggressive for a family-run business. I'm impressed you knew that. Well, I only know the basics. The company marries its employees, children, to politicians or executives at major companies in order to expand its business. Jenny is, is to be married to a politician. Uh, uh? Well, under normal circumstances, it'd be a good thing. The problem is that she doesn't want to marry, and a lot is going on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes? Jenny's a candidate to inherit the company, but her uncle, the current managing director, wants his son to inherit everything. He plans to marry her off to some politician to remove her from the company. I see now. So he considers her to be that big of a threat? I can't believe it. Actually, she started her own small company. But at the moment, she can't devote time to it. She wants to go to Space University. Space University? Where elite students universe-wide go? Yeah. She studied hard over the summer, and she passed the exam. She wants to learn more about running a company and how to make connections. That's very smart. Here is the job. Get Jenny off that liner and take her to Space University. <laughs> Space University is extra-legal territory. Once you're a student there, not even a fleet or army can remove you easily. Please, Marika. Absolutely strong-willed. That's right. She got mad at me a lot, but it was always out of love. <gasps> I can't wait to meet her. That's what I thought they'd say. Well, when you asked them to crew the Benton Maru, they agreed to that, didn't they, Captain? It's wonderful, right, Min? Let's do it. Yeah. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but I'm against it. <sighs> Impromptu work is too dangerous. Every one of you are novices. You've all become overexcited because you managed to pilot the ship and do a little piracy. No. To extract her, you'll need various kinds of plans and processes. Even if you can get her out, you may need to fight, and none of you are prepared. Have you considered that? You may well lose your pirate license, Marika. Would you do it regardless? But... Doesn't it sound fun? Huh? Taking Jenny Senpai away from there? Staying within the lines is nice, but it isn't enough. Is it? Uh, what are you talking about? As pirates, we only keep our jobs by staying within the lines. <sighs> but I think too much job security can be bad. I mean, we're pirates, and that isn't very pirate-like. I've made up my mind now. I'm taking this job. <sighs> Very well. <laughs> okay, now that it's decided, let's trace the route the ultimate ferry, the Central Lanes Liner heading to Diamond Took, and make our plan. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
here it is. An article on the Benton Maru from yesterday. It reads, cosplay pirates appear? The girls look pretty good to me. A rare performance by the very traditional Benton Maru. Well, they're not lying. I'm glad that went okay, but I'm not sure how I feel about the rest. The girls did really well, though. Looks to me like they got the Alpha and Beta working in sync, too. Maybe they have a good engineer after all. Well, now they only need to return, and everything will have worked out. Silver falling stars. Huh? <laughs> Caught in a dark spiral, Southgardi will be helpless before a power greater than any it has previously faced. Just what do you mean by that, Luca? I don't know. Something's approaching the Benton Maru. Are you able to identify it? Working on it. Five million kilometers behind us. It's a small ship flying by impulse with transponder systems off. Any communications? They're switched off now, but it did send a message requesting assistance. Uh, it's Jenny. Huh? But weren't we supposed to kidnap her? I don't know. Something unexpected must have happened. Maybe she boarded that small ship to fly to us instead. This morning, I sent her the Benton Morrow's location, just in case. I don't fully understand, but there's only one thing for us to do. Everyone to your stations! We must recover that ship now! Got it! The Imperial fleet just began deploying them recently. They're a brand new model, correct? They've been sold to wealthy corporations and stellar navies so far, but we recently acquired one a short while ago. She did say that she'd be traveling in a small ship with an FTL booster, but I didn't expect military grade. She must have chosen something that would guarantee her escape in case of pursuit. Jenny Senpai is smart. for your concern. to get you. Well, you see... Maru. Uh, 
I am Captain of the Benton Maru. Permission is, of course, granted. So you two are in a relationship, huh? <laughs> well, I guess so. Did you arrange this to elope, President? Uh, uh, no, it's actually unrelated. Nothing on radar. Expanding search radius. You still can't locate Jenny. <gasps> oh, your niece has turned off her transponder and radio. We were able to catch a single message. It appears your niece sent it to another ship. Which one? The pirate ship, Benton Maru. The Benton Maru. Find their insurance company. We'll pressure them there. Honestly, this is just weird. What is? The Benton Maru has picked up a small spaceship. A small spaceship? A silent whisper. <laughs> the new model? Impressive. Oh, really? The falling silver star. Let me introduce you all. This is the former Yacht Club president, Jenny doolittle Son. Oh, yay! Good to see you again, Senpai. Have you been well? Yes, and I'm glad to see you've all been well. Senpai! Uh, uh, these are our new members. They'd like to say hello to you. Uh, hello there. I'm honored to meet you. How you doing? Nice to meet you, too. Try to be good members and help Rin out, okay? Of course! Of course. Uh, uh, Captain, it's a message from the Harold Lloyd Insurance Union. What should we do? Uh, I'll answer it. Hey, it's your buddy Sho from the Harold Lloyd Insurance Union. I was... Just about to contact you. I need to confirm some minor things with you. Is Jenny Doolittle a Hugh and Doolittle interstellar transportation with you up in your ship? What? How did you know? Oh no! She really um, is! What's up? That's what I want to know! I just got a message from the Hugh and Doolittle company fleet that the Benton Maru kidnapped her! What's up with that? How can you do something so juvenile, yeah? Huh? Uh, my uncle is behind this. I see. Then you're Jenny Doolittle, I guess. Yes, it's nice to meet you. The information you've been given is a bold-faced lie. Oh, is that so? This entire thing originated with a rift between my uncle and me. I've hired the Benton Maru to secure my safety. I contracted them of my own free will. This was not their idea. All right. Well, if you were planning a pirate kidnapping, the captain should have spoken with us first. You understand what I'm saying to you, little girl? Yeah, sorry. We've been kind of busy here. So here's the thing. Your uncle, Robert Doolittle, demands your immediate release. If we don't comply, he's threatening to cut ties with our company. Oh, no. That's just oh, the kind of dirty trick my uncle would think up. <laughs> Son, I haven't actually had time to negotiate payment with Miss Doolittle yet. <sighs> Will you observe our discussion before deciding if you'll hand her over? Do you have a little time to decide which side you'll take? So, yeah, I hate to bring it up with you, Senpai, but this is business. Very well, then. So, yeah, you know I really hate to bring things like this up with you, Senpai. But this is business. It's fine. That makes it so much easier for me. Then let's get started, shall we? What is our payment for this job, Miss Doolittle? The Silent Whispers registration. You can take that for the advance. Name it whatever you like. And 10% of the gross profit for my interstellar travel company, Fairy Jane, for the next 10 years. That should come to a hefty profit. That will be your compensation. Fairy Jane is one of the fastest growing travel companies around. 10% of 50 trillion per year? That amount is almost half the Royal Palace's annual budget. The commission the insurance company received would be quite sizable as well. I'll throw in some of my personally collected data. Customer lists, information on pirate ships, 
corporate trade secrets, you know, things like that. I see. In the future, it's quite possible that Fury Jane will end up being a bigger company than Hugh and Doolittle. It's currently one of a group of companies, but should it go independent, for our part, I think that's a better deal than bowing to some guiling pressure. Man, you girls are going to be scary in 10 years. Fine. I'll give you my personal decision. I'd like to permit the bitch of Maru to undertake the job. Go kick butt, lady. Really? so I honestly hadn't considered that. But we should finish this right now. It won't be long before the Hugh and Doolittle fleet finds the Benton Maru. Let's head for Space University while we formulate a plan. Benton Maru crew, y'all wonder what Captain Marika is up to, right? You're late. So tell us what's happening out there. They picked up that ship, right? If you know that much, this will be quick. Jenny Doolittle was all up in that ship, you dig? She requested their protection as an escort, and the Benton Maru has formally accepted. Protection and escort? They're trying to do another job? For sure, just like grown-ups. Is this all right? Jenny Doolittle, she was president of the Yacht Club. She's part of the Hugh and Doolittle company, right? That's right. And it's Hugh and Doolittle that they're up against. They've been accused of kidnapping that pretty little blonde thing. Oh, man! The captain always does the craziest stuff. That's a pretty big job. You're our agent. Why in the hell did you let her take it, show, huh? I guess I believed in her luck and her potential. How irresponsible. Not that I mind. <laughs> if she can pull this off, there's a lot in it for the Benton Maru. So let's hope she can. I think that's probably the reason why she took the job. I'll be contacting you cats when there's an update. Peace out! Somehow, and then we'll get back to the Benton Maru. Wait. Uh, until Marika contacts us, I believe we should stay where we are for now. We don't have time for that! That's our ship! Marika is the captain. <laughs> Anymore. 
I've heard that some people can find ways around that. Well, you can decide your post-graduation life later. For now, let's focus on what we're doing. What's going on? The enemy's caught us! Hugh and Doolittle's escort fleet. Two Talbot class and five Corbat class escorts. I thought we ditched them, but they've already surrounded us. One more. The battleship Jabberwocky. So that's their big one. What happened? The Tarman coming from five o'clock! The Tarman? What will happen to us? If it doesn't hit us, it can't hurt us. Energy readings? Eight. Calculating attack patterns now. Ty, what about our electronic warfare? Already on it. Aichan, can you keep dodging a while longer? I'll try. Are you returning fire? No. If we attack and hurt them, we'll give them a leg up which won't be good for negotiations. All right, I'll back your decision. My uncle will wait for a little while to see what we do. So we need to think of a plan. Robert Doolittle, board member, Hugh and Doolittle Interstellar Transportation Company. Also my uncle. For years, he's been fighting my father, his younger brother, for company control. Ever since I started my own company, Fairy Jane Travel, it's only gotten worse. Ready to commence attack. Fire. Robert Sama! We've already fired enough warning shots! If anything happens to that girl, the rest of the family will be furious with you! Did you not hear me? I said fire. Uh, yes, sir. Prepare to fire! out of the question. It would be great if we could do something behind the scenes, but there's nothing we can use. At this rate, even if we can avoid their attacks with the EW, if they catch us and board the Benton Maru, it's over. Then, uh, why don't we change our perspective a little bit? Uh. Uh. Janai Kulf, eldest son of Theodore Kulf, Secretary of Interstellar Transportation a spoiled rich kid who will someday be a politician. My uncle plans to marry me to that idiot Junai and expand the company into politics. Certainly. Ties to the Interstellar Transportation Bureau would confer an advantage. And he wants to make Jenny-san a politician's wife, just so he can keep her from the business. By changing our perspective, you mean go after the fiancé's weakness. If nothing else, we could maybe get Jenny's marriage canceled or something. And if they cancel it, we would definitely be able to weaken our uncle's position. I see. Well, it's indirect, but it might work. This is only my personal opinion, but I just don't like anything about the guy. Something about him is off. Why is that? Intuition. A woman's intuition. Huh? Uh, it's a political marriage anyway. I wouldn't mind doing it as camouflage. Oh, really? No! No, not at all! Huh? Well, I'd imagine so. I remember I met him once at a party. There was indeed something off about him. Yeah, something wrong with him. I understand that he's a bit off. Wow, she gets it. But that isn't enough. It's not exactly a weakness. What do we do? Any one of the elite class is likely to have weaknesses for better or for worse. Just keep searching and you'll find something. It just has to be there. Uh, and morals are not of particular concern here, if you know what I mean. What? Coming from you, Princess, that sounds strangely convincing to me. Weaknesses, hmm? Mm. Every once in a while, Junai hosts clandestine parties on his large private ship. That might lead to something we could use. 
Okay, I have nothing against your fiance, but let's see what we can dig up, you guys. Robert Doolittle's a nasty guy. Former stellar military. Friends in politics and finance. If they underestimate him because he only heads a company fleet, they might just regret it. Large donations to volunteer groups. Q and Doolittle board members suspected of bribery. So many accusations. A hypocrite. There we go. Q and Doolittle's accounting records. The first security layer took a while, but once inside, it's easy. Very nice. So here, there's no record attached to this money. Mm -hmm. This amount. I bet there are all kinds of neat things to find here. Found this too. Have Shosan report this to the captain. She might be able to use it. <sighs> For the time being, we've dodged them all. <laughs> <sighs> practice cruise that gave me the idea to create copies of the Benton Morrow's mass profile then I merely loaded them in dummy transponders onto two decoy missiles and that was it I get it you were also great yayoi san and i san you looked the Jabberwocky right in the face and didn't blink the reactor was stable so I was able to maintain high acceleration everything else was i chan's piloting huh? Not at all. Yeah, you're, you're amazing. I'm impressed by how much you can coax from that engine. You too, Aichan? Your piloting was fantastic. Huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time for us to make a run to the glorious Kulf. Roger! Uh, Marika, huh? a message from Shosan. Picking it up. Hey, how's it going? Looks like they've been shooting lots of lasers at you. You got yourself a plan? Yeah, the crew and I are about to board Junai Kulf spaceship. So I see. Nice plan, but the uncle's a real target, right? I've got some great info on Robert Doolittle right here. Huh? Uh, you mean this? 
You and Doolittle the Count what? Record. Their security is as shoddy as ever. But this could help us. But who gave you this? You shouldn't ask questions like that. I'll leave it to your imagination. <laughs> If you ask me, you're being spoiled, Captain. <laughs> and there's more! One more useful piece of information! We've completed docking with the glorious cool! Run! President, how's the connection? Looking good. Don't screw up. Right! I really hope he agrees. This should be a valuable card. If nothing else, we might be able to force him to negotiate. Yeah. Lily, keep the camera rolling! Aye, aye, sir! The famous ship captain high school, Marta Cotter, as she infiltrates the mysterious cruiser. A high school girl hijacking cruiser. the airwaves? <laughs> huh? Marika? on your company, Hugh and Doolittle. According to this, there seems to be a lot of money circulating with no clear purpose. What of it, young lady? I have no intention of discussing our company's internal affairs. <laughs> Silent whisper. <laughs> Shout Blue, Jormungand, Phaser Arrow. Those are the names of the military craft and weapons you've been sending to this brat's father, Theodore Kulf. <laughs> Am I right, Uncle? And you've also been supplying weapons and fighters to other groups opposing the stellar military. Just like pirates require licenses, there are strict limits as to who can possess weaponry. Not that you don't know, but it's strictly forbidden for an individual politician to possess such weaponry. 
But a company buying them to improve security is a sufficient excuse. You transferred the weapons to Theodore Kulf and were paid in cash in return. That's a crime, Uncle. One that could easily put you in prison, Uncle dear. Childish fantasies. Do you think you can fill such an order? <clears throat> yes. The ship-to-ship -ship missile Jormungan, yes. That might be difficult. <laughs> you never deleted those call logs. Secret conferences to discuss weapons transfers. Got them right here. <laughs> Cheers! Yay! <laughs> this time it was close. Maybe we are cut out to be pirates. The impromptu job went perfectly. Sure did. Jeez, oh you guys always get so caught up in this. But you were the most totally amazing of all, Chiaki. That's true. the Barbalusa's daughter for you. Shut up. <gasps> Um, what are you gonna do now, Chiki-sama? You'll stay at Hakuo, right? No, I'm going back home. Huh? My dad's really starting to nag me about it. I see. That's a shame. I really wanted you to teach me more about the ship. Then, mm -hmm. let's have a farewell party for Chiaki-chan, too. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for everything, Captain. Really now? You should warn me about these things in advance, you know? <laughs> now I can finally go to Space University. When I graduate, I'll probably have to fight my uncle for the company again. He'll be arrested for corruption and weapon trafficking, but he'll probably pull some strings and get himself out. Really? We're a family company after all, so he'll keep his position most likely. Oh, I see. However... I've learned a lot from you, so I'll be able to fight him, even on my own. <laughs> it's okay. From now on, I'll be with you forever. I won't let you fight by yourself. <gasps> Rin, Jenny. <sighs> we can always work together. Oh, you You're two are so sweet. <laughs> hey, there's another one. A big success for the Benton Maru crew. Hugh and Doolittle suspected of corruption, it says. This was a big deal. I never expected her to use the stuff we gave her like that. Women who don't fear anything are scary. That's right. Damn straight. You shouldn't get on a woman's bad side. Uh, a lot, uh, uh, happened, so good job. The captain and the other girls made it to the Odette too as well. Everyone, uh -huh. I have our exam results. I think you'll be pleased. Uh -huh. It turns out we're all negative. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm feeling stiff. Let's all do right. this. So, that fighter. Silent, what was it? I don't really remember, but you got to keep it? Mm hmm. Yeah, they said there's nothing wrong with pirates having a fighter. It's in my name, but I decided to leave it at the relay station so the yacht club can use it. Whoa. Mommy? Hmm? Thanks a lot. For what? All those clothes. You gave them to Gruyer, right? <laughs> oh, that. Well, I just wanted to help. That's all there is to it. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> You'll be out of the hospital next week? Yeah, sorry for the trouble. No, no problem. I got to relax, so it was really fine. <laughs> I'm glad. Enjoy your high school life while it lasts. <laughs> I know. Mm? Hey, Misa? What? Thanks. <laughs> oh, did I do something you should thank me for? Well, I just wanted to say it. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. The pot of food is done. Right. <gasps> it looks great. I made your favorite, some Chikawa. I love Chikawa. Onisama, being a pirate was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. In fact, I asked Marika-san to please call us should the opportunity arise for us to join her again. <laughs> Onisama, you're such good friends with Captain Marika, aren't you? Yeah. When she's around, things are never boring, that's for sure. 
You go to the same school, and you're in the same club, but you're still a princess and a pirate. I don't think it's good to get too close. The work she does is quite dangerous. Is it a problem too large for even the Serenity Royal Family to handle? Uh, anyway, I only wanted to say, you know, now that I think about it, it probably wasn't a coincidence at all that Captain Gonzaman gave me that ID ring for the Benton Morrow to keep for him. What are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is that we were bonded by fate, destined to meet one another in this vast universe. Bonded, you think? Marika, eat your food. I'd rather sleep than eat right now. Oh, like how you feel the day after an exam? Oh yeah, that's it. I don't feel like doing anything. Just relaxing and resting, you know? <gasps> so, now that she's on land, the space pirate is sunbathing? Mm-hmm. You'll dry uh. out that way. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's fine. Once you get used to it, this place ain't so bad. Yeah, this military hospital isn't as bad as I expected. The food sure is bad, though. Well, we got paid just to sleep. It's all good. You're not going to hear me complaining. It worries me that the captain hasn't done anything since then. It's fine. She's relaxing, too. Huh. Rest is important. Once in a while. I hope she doesn't relax too much, though. So. Now, let's get to the relay station! Right! We don't have many more shuttle tickets for the Yacht Club this year. I'm not sure why they look like this, but whatever. Let's get up there and do it! Right!
Someone's visiting the Benton Maru. A thief? Nah, it's the captain. Uh, she just can't stay put, can she? Uh, is she sending out the ship again? She's alone, so I highly doubt it. Let's see what she does. I win again! <laughs> I don't really think I could ask the Yacht Club or the crew for help. As the captain, I always have to keep the Benton Maru's image in mind. brought aboard or stuff belonging to the crew. I can't even tell anymore. Ugh. Hey, I know what I'll do. It's a great idea.
this is junk or if it belongs to somebody. They'll sort it out. I'm done! Okay. I'll move the containers to the Yacht Club warehouse. lock on the bed tomorrow. Oh, okay. Will do. Good night. We will be arriving at New Oklahoma Airport shortly. This is really nice. It's especially good today. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Maybe it's time that you started making the pot of food. Oh, you mean you'll teach me? Ah. If you're the Benton Maru's captain, then that means you've inherited the Kato family's secrets. You should already be able to make it. Uh huh? Hmm. I thought we could find parts in the club room. What is all this stuff doing here anyway? Oh well. Just leave it for the time being. I'll close it up. Okay. We have no choice. We'll have to ask the fabrication club to make us the parts. It'll cost a ton. Mm -mm. Misa, have you reached the Benton Maru? I'll be there soon and up soon now. <laughs> so good to see all of you. Hey, Captain. Welcome back, everyone. Greet later. We need you to release the master lock. The... the lock? Oh, right. The gravity's still off. <laughs> Why? The bridge controls are locked. There's not anything what? we can do. We made it from the hatch to the bridge, but that's as far <clears throat> as... Unlock it now, please. <sighs> we'll discuss you for getting to uh, lock the door afterwards. Uh, uh, Jeez. Did you listen to me at all yesterday? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry! Oh, that's right. I put it in my club parka. Oh, I just, uh, uh-oh. For better or worse, I never took it out. Uh, huh? What? What? I... Your ID ring's gone. Ring, ring. Where we are you? We can't the ship as it is. But I... Oh. Where'd you drop it? If I knew, I wouldn't be looking, would I? You should have just kept it on your finger. It's for a man, so it's too big. Then to summarize, yesterday was the last time the captain used the master lock. She probably dropped it during her club duties helping clean up the space station. Remember what you were doing. I'm trying, but... It's gotta be somewhere. What if I dropped it somewhere as else? As long as you didn't drop it in space, it's fine. If we retrace your actions, we'll find it. What should I do? I want to give it to you. Please accept it. All right. Oh, that's some way to treat a gift. You appear to be in some trouble. Huh? We'll help you out. Are okay. Nothing unusual. Helm online. Primary and sub engine stabilized. Comm systems. All green. Weapon and control systems primed and ready for combat. Now it's time, time for some piracy. No, 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 no. What are you all doing? Marikasama. We heard you were in trouble, so we came. You heard I was in trouble? Grunhilda. Where did you hear that? The silent whisper, huh? With keen ears like that, hearing would be a piece of cake. Cake? 
Mari Kassan, the captain's seat is yours. And this ring. You dropped it on the Odette, too. Oh, well, thanks so much. I'm amazed you recognized it as the administrator's ID ring. The president did a good job helping me analyze it. Don't drop something that valuable. The Galactic Empire might have gotten involved. Uh, is it that bad? <laughs> I'm upset. That's the sign of our bond given to me by Gonzaman sama Our bond? The bond between you, me, and Gonzaman sama And you, Hilda. The four of us, of course. Huh? Yeah, that's right. The four of us. Thanks so much, especially you, Grunhilda. Yep. <sighs> Not bad, Yacht Club. They had a good advisor. She joined while you were gone. <laughs> there you are, Mr. Teddy. I thought I'd lost you. Is, is that a special rare? Sandai, my son, do you collect them too? Wanna trade this one with me? Seriously? You there! Get to work! You're the one who made a mess of everything, Captain. No whining, or I'll lower the weight limit for personal effects. Uh, no, no! Stupid Captain. I'm not tuning out. <sighs> Marika is better suited to be a Captain than a high schooler, don't you think? Yeah, of course she is! It's in her blood. Just like the royal uh, family, right? <laughs> uh, what was that? <clears throat> you found a safety relay? That's right. The men tomorrow had some spares, so I took one. Do you think it will work? Hmm. Okay. Once we replace this, the Odette 2's cleaning is finished. Sweet! And I didn't lose Mr. Teddy. Right. Let's get going, club. Now I can pilot the dinghies. I shall teach me. <laughs> huh? That would be hard for me. I don't know how. <laughs> I know. You should come back and be our teacher and yacht club advisor again. That would rock. Huh? Oh, hey, that's. Uh... Please, Kane Sensei. Uh... Teach me everything you know about the Benton Maru. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Please do it. Please do it. Teach the Please do it. Please do it. Please. Look at how much Ursula loves you. Okay, I'll think about it. Okay! <laughs> trade, trade! Thank you, Mr. The Bear. captain really set Sandaime off. You're a pretty bad girl, Captain. I don't see Marika-san. She quietly slipped away to the Benton Maru. Captain, let me help you again, okay? Onisama, please don't go off alone. <gasps> Next time you go pirating with Marika-sama, I want to go with the two of you. <laughs> Huh? This is it! Uh...
What's going on? I heard you from the hallway. Sorry. So, what's going on? Look at this. Uh, the 19th Nebula Cup. That sounds good. Let's do it, everybody. We have those dinghies we found. And it looks fun, right? I know, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah! I've been really wanting to do this for a <laughs> while. Yeah. What's going on? Let's in on it. Uh, but when does it start? It starts in two weeks. Why do you ask? Well, it might overlap with my work on the Benton Maru. <sighs> oh, yeah. You have your job. Ugh. Entering is fine, but... I'm sorry, is there some kind of problem? Anyone who's actually piloted a dinghy before, raise your hand. Uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> I've spent lots of time in a simulator. <laughs> and you think you're ready for a tournament? What a joke. Uh, Kane, why are you dressed like that? No time and no actual experience. You girls have nothing at all! If I don't help you, no one will. Listen to me! Help with what? <laughs> you need an advisor, what? right? Uh, it, yeah, it's true. We don't actually have one. Then I'll do it. I'm up for the job. Kane, you can't do ah! this without... Uh, <coughs> a teaching credential? I renewed my teaching credentials. From this moment on, I am your P.E. teacher! P.E. teacher? Nebula Cup database? Yes. I believe we can find records for the races here. There it is. Following the 13th Nebula Cup, Hakuo Academy Senior High School will be suspended for interfering with the race and ignoring safety regulations for five years? <gasps> Hakuo sent a message that they'll be participating. So the time has finally come. I know how you must feel, Madam Chairman. I thought that they would not participate. That was my expectation. The question is, will we be able to handle those little ruffians in our current state? Those demons at Hakuo Academy? If you don't mind, I have an idea. An idea? If they won't follow the rules, neither will we. Hello, this is the Harold Lloyd Insurance Union. <laughs> I'll show your agent.
sorry I scared you. No, it's okay. But tell me, what brings you out here, Marika Senpai? Well, I'm looking for Kane. He's turned his terminal off. He was acting weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. I think he's up to something. Oh. Hmm. I had a really good time in the simulator. As captain, it really worries me sometimes. Well, I'll make him tell me tomorrow. <laughs> Between the club and piracy, you're really busy. I really am. I want to compliment myself. But when one of the underclassmen is working hard, I have time to bring her a drink. Working hard? I am? I never thought of it that way. I like yachts. I think they're the best. When I'm working on them, I lose track of time. It's really quite nice. I lose myself. It's like everything stops and I can just relax. Huh? It's a strong breeze. understand what you mean. Huh? No, it's nothing. <laughs> hey, let me help. Huh? Thank you. Oh, 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 watch out! <laughs> Someone is trying to go after the Katos. We were well aware of this. The Biss Company. Thugs that hang around the port of Orion. They aren't from around here. That would certainly explain why these people are not aware of our treaty regarding Marcacato. Agreed? Regardless, we can't afford them any opportunity. It could lead to our organizations fighting each other for the pirates' power, and none of us want that. We'll have to teach them that. At times, ignorance is no excuse. I've said this many times. <laughs> <laughs> then, in terms of specifics. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this now? Uh, <gasps> Him? I see. So that's it? <laughs> it's all starting to make sense to me now. That's the reason all these shady guys have agreed to leave Marika alone. I have to be honest with you. We're worried. For now, it appears she's protected. But after she graduates from Hakuo Academy, it's another story. That's for Marika to decide herself. She can do whatever she likes. The choice is hers to make. I like yacht. Why did I join the Yacht Club again? That's right. Because I wanted to go into space. What you like, huh? Hello? Captain, we have a job offer. A security job? That's an unusual thing to ask pirates to handle. Who's the client? The Nebula Cup Administration huh? Committee. Someone is gonna try to interfere with the race, so the committee president wants you to stop it. So there's trouble. I heard your yacht club is participating, so I thought it would be a good fit. Yeah, that's kind of true. All right, we'll take the job then. Huh, that was a quick decision. Thanks. So what are the details? I'll send you the details later on paper. Give them a look. See you around. Sure about this? If you're working aboard the Benton Maru, you won't be able to participate in the race, right? No. I'll be in the race. <sighs> I don't even know if we'll qualify yet, so things will work out. I have faith.
Okay! Everyone's here! What's that? No idea. Let's go. Um, Kane Sensei, why are we on the beach? I'm not your sensei! Call me Coach! Coach! Oh. Oh. Alright, love, this is really... Don't say it. My head hurts. Okay, Coach? Clue us in. Why are we on the beach? Glad you asked, Natalia Kuhn. Today, we're holding the qualifier to decide who will attend the Nebula Cup. Um, Coach? How do we do that? You wanna know? The reason you were all brought out to this beach in the middle of the day wearing your swimsuits? Yeah, yes It's because of this! In a tournament of this magnitude, the important thing is not your skills, but the endurance and concentration to use them! The first three to make it to the buoy and back will represent us in the race! So I want each of you to do your best! Huh? Uh, really? You serious? This has nothing to do with dinghies. We've only used these a little as a part of our marine sporting classes. That's plenty! The first years haven't taken that class yet! Kane, are you seriously going to decide Coach, whether- Do you think I'm kidding? If your body can't keep pace with your skills when it counts, you'll just endanger yourselves! So get out there and race your fannies off! Fine, I get it, I get it. I'll do it, you big bully. Good! If I win this, I can go to the tournament. <laughs> I'll do my best. Start!
gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Whenever my club's in trouble, they get really good. <laughs> surprised. That was a pretty nasty joke, Kane. I don't know why you did it, but don't do it again. And that's an order, sailor. <laughs> You're right. By the way, what would you have done if you'd ended up winning the race? We have a job, right? I had a few ideas to combine them. I thought it might be fun for me to try pirating while competing in the race, you know? Kinda greedy. Am I? Yeah, but you should be, because that's perfect for a pirate. <laughs> but I feel good. You see, Aichan likes yachts so much, it will mean more to her than it does to me. Hmm? Then answer a little question for me. What do you like now? Mm. And just what's with this you business, Kane? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, Captain. Hmm. Okay, we have our entrance. I'll keep training every one of you. Those who are and those who aren't entering, everyone trains! Yeah! But first, we have to replenish those calories you used up! Your next order is to go to the lamp house and eat parfaits! My treat. Everyone's glaring at us. What an unpleasant greeting. I'm scared. 
Bert? I don't like this at all. Yeah, really. I'm gonna go ask what's up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <gasps> Something. That's enough. <gasps> you really worried me back there. Mm. So you're with the Sea of Four Stars team? I'm helping them out. Not every team has as much top talent as yours. True. We had enough to go pirating after all. <laughs> it isn't a joke. <laughs> Do you understand your position here? Uh, it's that incident, isn't it? <gasps> oh, that's right. The Hakuo Academy Yacht Club received a five-year suspension from official races. Uh, they did? Oh. oh, man. Why did you not know that? So, that explains why we've never received any invitations. But if it happened six years ago, wouldn't you have been in middle school? Oh, well, you see... Back then, some upperclassmen received some unreleased race information. This course is so easy, it's boring. Yeah, this won't satisfy the other teams either. <sighs> so they asked me to rewrite the race data. Oh. Oh. You hacked their computers? The race management must have been taken by surprise. On the day of the race, they discovered all the course settings had been changed. And this was the result. Named the 13th Tournament Nightmare. 142 entrants, two finishers. Uh, uh, that must have been bad. And now, the cause of all of it has returned to the scene of the crime. I didn't know it was such a big deal. I'm blushing. It isn't a compliment. So that's why no one likes us? More accurately, everyone will be out to get you. D jeez. Huh. And to think we're even on the same planet as back then. <laughs> Repeat, Target is not with the rest of the group. I'll keep an eye out. Huh? Uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> there you are. I chan you should get back to the ship and prepare. Yeah, yo chan uh, Look! A book of constellations? Mm-hmm. They only sell constellation books on the planet you see them from. <laughs> 20 minutes until race starts. All teams, please submit your registration. That concludes the report Please from public relations. Partial GPS capability. Book change from 3.5 to 4.5 and await their instructions. Team 6 is deployed. The medics. They'll be ready in 27 seconds. Once it starts, get three more people there. Um. Block 16, you're falling behind. Bring out the observation probes. The Harold Lloyd Insurance Union recommended us to provide security. Uh, I'm captain of the Benton Maru, and... It's small enough to ignore. I'd like to discuss the security equipment, if you don't mind. I won't let these five years of work go to waste on those uh, girls. <sighs> I'm borrowing a dinghy, is that okay with you? Just return it to its place when you're done. You got it! Thank you! What? That couldn't have been. Everyone there just seemed too busy to talk. Even if it's for security purposes, you don't need to fly personally, do you? If the Benton Maru can't descend into the atmosphere, we don't have a choice. It's a spaceship, after all. There's a limit to what you can see long range from orbit. Isn't it safer to watch from within the course? Sure, but be careful. I just saw someone suspicious. Got it. Watch the Benton Maru for me, okay? About the pirate who just left a minute ago. She was what?
hard to keep calm. Uh, oh yeah, normally I have everyone else. The starting gun will be fired by Gruyer Serenity, seventh princess of the Serenity Royal Family. So that's why I didn't see her then. Princess, whenever you're ready. Corsroth has been released. It's finally here. Oh. Hey guys, a dinghy's propellant isn't nearly enough for this, is it? Without a good wind, You'll be out for sure. and radar. It's even affecting super space. An EM storm from the system's main star. Incoming coronal mass ejection. A solar flare? Now of all times... Hey! Cut it out, will ya? She isn't doing anything yet. Does she have an equivalent? Storm's knocking it offline. How is it there? Pretty. Huh? The aurora is so beautiful. Does this planet have auroras? You didn't know? I just swapped the data the upperclassmen gave me. I didn't know anything else. But in all this, you can't fly right. I tried. The planets of our face. I recreated the course the Hakuo Academy set six years ago. Mm. Uh, Get one, one, here. 
Everyone's amazing. Our upperclassmen have trained us hard over the past five years so that we could repay the humiliation they suffered. Everyone got so frustrated, they ended up raising the level of the tournament. That's why everyone's so good. Anymore. I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> Stop! Something's there! Uh, uh. These guys must be the Bisc Company. They got the drop on us! You're late, Kay! It's an ambush! The captain's in danger! So which one is Marika Kato? Can't tell. Just shoot all of them! <laughs> all behind this. No, because they're attacking me, too. Everyone run. You gotta run, too, Captain. They're after you. Oh. A lot of people are jealous of your pirate license. And they're firing randomly. They don't know which dinghy you're in. Get out of there now. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah. Right. 
right. We can even use it at this close range. Thing from before? What thing from before? Come on, don't be silly. Huh? Schnitzer, get ready! Already on it. Wait, hold on a second! They're not going to be able to get them aligned. We're using all our thrusters inside the atmosphere. We can't turn quickly. And even if we could, they're faster, so we can't aim. And no one's stupid enough to fly right in front of us. Impressive. Every sailor should know how. The engine and the mechanics all work. Vince, I'll see you later. I John, thank you. Captain, we're at our limit. The keel is really screaming. Contacted the police. They say they'll pick up the bisque pilots. Right. Let's go back. Go back? Mm -hmm. Back to space, where we really belong. Roger! Chairwoman, the race has been restarted. The Nebula Cup is saved. We win! I'm so glad. So glad. <laughs> Fun. The chairwoman sent us a letter of thanks. She has too much energy. Today's job was dangerous, won't it, Captain? Sometimes you have to take a few somewhat dangerous jobs. They pay more. But do you think this is really going to be okay, Captain? Ah. You know what we're dealing with. That? That? What a joke! No enemy can stand against the firepower of the Silver Fox! Touchdown! In front! What was that? No transponder signal, Captain! So they're here! All ships, prepare to engage! Huh? Analyzing radar signature. Type unknown. Registration unknown. God, huge! Three, no, no, five times our size! Energy signature detected, Captain! Uh. Oh. Open fire! 
explain this to you. Let's start with the latest info. Here. Three days ago, the pirate ship Silver Fox was attacked. Three tri-firing main cannons, 18 dual-firing machine cannons. Additionally, multi-shot missiles, heavily armed for a pirate ship. A military heavy cruiser class. And? So a pirate hunter took down such a well-armed ship? I'm not so sure, but that's what the insurance union is calling it for now. The data sent by Shosan from the insurance union shows that there have been two similar incidents this month. Five were recorded last month. At least once a week, pirates are being targeted and taken out. And no one knows who's responsible. Uh, can I ask a really simple question? What? You keep saying they're pirate hunters. Are there enough space pirates around here to be able to hunt? Because <sighs> <sighs> the only other pirates I know are aboard Chiaki Chan's Barbalusa. So I wondered how many there are, really. There are more than 200 but... pirate fleets currently out there in space. What? 200? That was during the War of Independence. And they aren't all armed like the Benton Maru. Remember, the Odette 2 was formerly a pirate ship as well, or did you forget? Oh, oh yeah. From old military ships to solar sailors, space pirates have always been a motley group of ne'er-do-wells. Ne'er-do-wells? If we examine government records, we can see which licenses are still being renewed. Let's see now. I guess after everything, we're under a third of the starting count. Around 50 or 60. Anyone left is gonna have to be cruiser class or bigger. Hmm. FTL jump capable and sufficiently armed to take on the military. You need hmm. to be at least as powerful as the Benton Morrow to maintain your letter. We're at the cutoff point? We have the best crew, though. So then... It more than makes up the difference. Good answer. Captain. Yeah? Captain, how will you deal with this? This current situation. Okay, I'll say it. Three things to start. Oh, just three things? At first, here is the Benton Maru situation. We only have 20 days until our pirate license expires. Naturally, we'll need to go pirating during that time. Well, that's true. Second, here is my situation. I have finals at the end of next month. I'd like to get the license renewed before my tests, and then deal with this seriously afterward. After I pass. And the other? Yes, third. Even if pirates in this area are being targeted, that doesn't guarantee they'll choose the Benton Maru. Our next job might be completely uneventful. I'd like to think that. But, from the locations of the ships that have been attacked, they're approaching the Tau system. So the Benton Maru might end up targeted. We need to stay alert. I don't want to leave something to chance during a job. Ultimately, we may run into the pirate hunters. But I don't want to sit back and let that occur. We have to do whatever we can. And I know how to do it. Upgrade the weapons? Or perhaps the output systems? Nope. A little trick. A trick? Like what? <laughs> I think it's something that'll help our client out, too. <laughs> I was surprised by your idea. Were you? Was it that weird? No, I was just a bit surprised. Wow! I really surprised Misa? What's Rerika doing these days? Sometimes she's at home, and sometimes she just isn't. Do you even know what she's doing? I heard she got a pilot's license for large ships. 
But I don't know. You aren't worried? We both do dangerous work. I see. Thanks a lot, Misa. Okay. See you in space, then. Expect a souvenir. Sorry. I have pirate hunters to deal with. Should I really look forward to it? Maybe I should start making dinner myself. Hmm. Pirate hunters? Yes, understood. I'll make adjustments on my end. Okay, so will Captain Marika pass the classes or make the top half of the class possible? Yeah, I think so. I have good enough attendance. My grades, well, they're okay, right? There's nothing to worry about. Weren't they pretty bad a year ago? <laughs> a space pirate sunk by bad grades. That's not even funny. No need to bring up the past. The past is in the past, and now is now. <laughs> okay. I've sent the docs to the bits of Maru, too. After this call, I'll send you the details also. Got it? <laughs> yep, got it. Bye-bye. See you around, little girl. <laughs> <sighs> this place really has become the Hakuo Academy branch of the Benton Maru. Uh-huh. Sorry, President. This line has the best security in the whole building. I'm not the president anymore. You're president now. We decided that yesterday. Yeah, but it doesn't feel real yet. Excuse me. Huh? Uh, excuse us. Oh, it's two presidents, one pair. Hey, are we playing cards or something like that? <laughs> should have been president. Why? Everyone made the decision together. Because you were vice president. You could have just taken the promotion. It's already decided, so no! Mm. We realize it's true that Captain Ethan Bentonmaru may keep you busy. But we're all counting on you, too. Yo, Captain! Mm. But I... Give it up, Marika. You're locked in. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm done here. I'm really looking forward to my last Yacht Club practice cruise, so make it a good one. Bye. See you later. later. Bye. <sighs> Ren Senpai looks even more manly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's like an adult now. Mm -hmm. She got a recommendation to Space University. I think she was just sending another message to Ginny Senpai. Oh. Oh. Anyway, let's make a plan for the practice cruise that will rock the socks off the third years. Yeah! yeah! Pirate hunters, huh? huh? What's up? Preparations for the trick are complete. Now we just have to do it. Hmm? Cheat? Yep. Look forward to seeing some great piracy. could relax. Yeah. <laughs> See you around, Marika. <sighs> How does it feel to sit in a seat like this once in a while? Oh, it's nice. What's wrong? Mm, it's 
It's just that I don't know how to talk to you sometimes. You don't know how? Why not? Well, I, you were my teacher, right? So sometimes I still look at you that way, you know? I'm the helmsman for the Benton Maru. You can talk casually to me, like you do with Sun Daime and Hakame. But you haven't changed the way you talk to me from back when you were my teacher. Still so formal. But I guess I didn't really like how you were during the yacht tournament. Oh, that was someone else. Just kind of think of it that way. That was going too far, Kane. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think it's time you stopped relying on us for rides? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's about time I teach you how to pilot a shuttle. A license. It will definitely be useful. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do after you graduate, Captain? Huh? Will you commute to the Benton Maru from Sea of the Morning Star? Or possibly take the leap and become a real sailor? This is Benton Maru. I have your shuttle on scanner. I'll guide you in. Oh, thank you. This time our job is an escort mission. The ship's name is the Big Catch. It isn't one of the original seven, but it's a very old pirate ship. Mm-hmm. I see. Tricky, but clever. It is! But I'm actually huh? amazed you managed to convince them. I've never heard of pirates hmm. protecting pirates. It couldn't have been easy for Shosan to get their captain to agree. I don't think it's a bad deal, Misa. A pirate can only request an escort from other pirates. They get more firepower against the pirate hunters. We fulfill our pirating duties by helping them and renew our license. You know, I've been thinking, Captain. Maybe this job will give us a good foothold. Hmm? We'll be able to fight back against the pirate hunters. But sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what makes a pirate a pirate? Isn't it because we have a letter of mark? Why are those even still renewed? Because we do pirate work and they're... Oh, I see! Because we're pirates! The military and the Stellar Alliance both allow us to exist because we act in isolation from others. However, if we start working together, it's like the birth of a new independent nation. The birth of the pirate empire! Uh, empire, huh? Clean those up, okay? Right. Right. Uh, well, pirates are lone wolves. I can't imagine them building a nation. But it's true that if we aren't careful, the government could try and get the drop on us. Are you the one who put show from the insurance union up to this? I'm honored to meet you, Captain Stone. I'm Captain of the Benton Maru, Marika Kato. You know, I haven't had many chances so far to meet other pirates. Haha, <laughs> I've heard the rumors about you. Listen up, the insurance union hired you, not me. Don't forget that, little girl. The big catch is my ship, not yours. Get it straight. Yes, I understand. We'll do our best to guard the pirate ship Big Catch and keep you all safe. Huh? Ugh, scary. <laughs> Once we've escorted Big Catch to its destination, the job is over. Everyone, let's do our best. You can't deny the connection. Definitely her father's daughter. This is Falcon 1. Nothing so far. Falcon 2, nothing. High precision scan of the omnidirectional scans showing nothing. I hope we'll make it there okay. You fool! There's no one out there who can fight the big catch! <laughs> the insurance company's just plain scared. Is anyone in space so foolhardy and dumb as to take us on? Huh? Touchdown in front! What in the name of... Touching down. Are there any ships that should be using an FTL in this area? No, Captain. Prepare for electronic warfare and transponder confirmation once they arrive in normal space. Roger. Kane, keep an eye on our distance. Roger. Captain! Huh? Corey, open a line! Contact 
make the big catch. It's dangerous to get ahead of us. Be careful. Oh, Captain, ignore them. Prepare for combat. It doesn't matter who they think they are. Open fire the minute those insolent fools appear in front of us. Right! Once it's incapacitated, we'll board. We'll show them how frightening pirates can be. outside without a spacesuit. It's a hologram. Huh? The waving flag's a hologram, too. They're also forcing sound effects of flapping into the data stream. Pretty impressive. Why do all that? To impress us.
That's taking sound effects just a little too far. You could really feel the bass. Is that guy gonna save us? Gravity waves rising in the enemy ship. Captain. <laughs> enemy is withdrawing fast. Amazing acceleration. Oh. Incoming message from that giant pirate ship, Parabellum. Send it here. Uh. My name is Ironbeard. Uh. Ironbeard? Hey, have you ever heard of him, Schnitzer? No, can't say that I have. And this is my ship, the Parabellum. We hail from distant seas. Ironbeard, son? Um... Uh. Brave peril is at hand. If nothing is done, all pirates in this region will soon be eliminated at the hands of the pirate hunter vessel, the Grand Cross. Grand Cross? Was that the warship's name? No record of that ship anywhere. But there are records of the Parabellum registered with the Galactic Empire. The great pirate ship that sails the vastness of space. We already heard that. Not that I care, but can we do anything about that sound? Parabella is forcing it into the data stream. It's funny, so I'm leaving it. Sound effects. Captain Stone. We weren't able to protect your ship. We extinguished most of the fires, but we couldn't keep them from reaching the ammo stores. I guess my pirating days are pretty much over. What about my crew? Everyone on the Big Catch is safe. A lot of people are hurt, though. But our doctor says she'll be able to save them all. The bloodstained ships, Doctor? Bloody Misa? I'm glad to hear that. You know Misa? Not just Misa, all of them. I knew Blaster Erica and Captain Kato, the entire crew. They were all good people. You're a good pirate, one exactly like your father. Something in you shines, something that I'm lacking. You're a good pirate for a new era, kid. It is nice to meet Chiaki-chan, you should just stay here. Let's graduate together. I can't do that. Could you try not to be so selfish? <laughs> then what do you want? <sighs> I'm here as a representative of the captain. A representative? Hmm. I have a message from the captain of the pirate ship Barbalusa, Kenjo Kurahara. Kenjo is worried about the damages caused by the pirate hunters. The captain is thinking of forming an alliance of all the pirates bearing letters of mark. That appeal having been made, Captain Kenjo requests the assistance from the captain of the Benton Maru, Marika Kato. Hmm. 
Yeah, I thought so. We're compiling a database of information from all of the pirates who have been attacked. The Benton Maru has not only engaged them, but survive as well. So you have battle data that could help. First, we'd like to share that data. Well, that isn't a problem. I'll happily give you everything we have on the Grand Cross and the Parabellum. The Grand Cross? What's that? The Seas of Space belong to everyone. Come in! This is the tea I've been telling you about. Oh, the royal family's preferred tea? Cheese. You have a princess running errands and pouring tea? This will be an international incident. Oh, don't worry about it. Well, she's not a pirate, but I still think it might be good to ask her about it. Sure, I guess. So, I understand that the pirate hunters are actually a warship called the Grand Cross. But what exactly is the Parabellum? An enemy? A friend? Oh, heck if I know. We encountered it, then it attacked. Both ships showed up out of nowhere and then just disappeared. That's interesting. But perhaps... Huh? The gravity-controlling ship that attacked the Benton Maru may have come from a higher-level area than any of the nearby governments, including Serenity. Do you think that's possible? By higher-level... The Galactic Empire. That's right. An enormous Galactic Empire fleet appeared. After doing so, it then absorbed both conflicting sides with its overwhelming power. And at this point, our nation has been unified as well. But the Galactic Empire has always pretended to ignore the pirates. The Imperial fleets have never undertaken a large-scale offensive or any sort of pursuit against pirates that I've heard of. And you're saying this is their offensive? I have no idea. We don't even know if the Grand Cross is an Imperial ship or not, so we will have to be careful. Then you'll need my help. Please wait until after school. I shall take appropriate measures to look into the Grand Cross and the Parabellum. Leave everything to me. Make yourself at home! What would you like? Chocolate parfait. Same for me! Oh, me too! Three chocolate parfaits! I see. That does sound like a secret weapon. The Galactic Empire is hurriedly constructing large warships, and they're equipped with gravity control. At least four companies are working on projects that we know of. Classified They're ones. conducting trial runs on pirates in remote regions? Well... It would provide more realistic data than attacks on civilian or military ships. We can keep investigating its identity, but first, we should decide what to do about it. So, Chiaki-chan, I agreed to share the data, but what else do we have to do? The legendary chef. Huh? The chef? We need to find the legendary chef. Delicious dishes, 
But most of all, his amazing sherbet that melted the rough hearts of the pirates. It's like a fairy tale. Oh, so romantic. I'm sure his food was good. But the reason he could unite the pirates during the War of Independence was because they trusted him. The legendary chef found a way to gain their trust. Have you ever stopped to think about this? Why it is that pirate ships still use old equipment? Huh? Because we can't afford to upgrade? That's part of it. Indeed, the economy's been bad lately. But no matter how much money pirates make and what new parts they buy for upgrades, they always seem to leave the old comm systems up and running. The Benton Mar is the same, right? Look at these! These gummy snacks are delicious! Amazing! Oh, you're right! Come to think of it, the same is true of the Odette, too! The legendary chef. He knows a song of summoning that causes all space pirates to tremble with anticipation. You see, that song goes like... Oh, hello! Ugh. The sea is the space! Belong to everyone! <laughs> uh, what are those two doing here? They came to celebrate your transfer! I was planning on calling the whole yacht club, but that'll have to wait now. I'm here as the captain of the Barbalusa's representative to see you, the Benton Mars. Right, right. Uh, I know, I know. No, you... Uh, ever since you first mentioned it, something was bothering me. And now that we've eaten the parfaits and made our toast, I'm sure of it. Uh, Come with me tomorrow, and I'll introduce you to the legendary chef. Oh? Legendary chef. I don't believe you have a reservation for today. A pirate's council. I want to hold a pirate's council. Uh, he, he's the legendary chef? What did you say? I was remembering. Ririka-san used to bring me here a lot when I learned to swim or ride a bike. When I was little, anytime I learned to do something, she'd always let me have that one thing. I remembered the desserts were so good that you had to be the legendary chef. Hmm. I don't need any more rewards. <laughs> I want to eat dessert as an attendee of a pirate's council, not for a reward. I'm sure Ririka-san relied on you many times. <laughs> Ririka-san is an amazing person. She's larger than life. And if someone like her relies on you, then you must be amazing, too. Don't try to flatter me. Your cooking is the best in space. Even the pirates will listen to you. How can you be sure? Because I'm a pirate. <laughs> in the name of the Benton Maru. Funny young lady. <laughs> Thank you. Were my desserts really that good? Yeah. Your mother's really that much larger than life. Yeah? She's number one in space, too. Hmm? Sorry. You got the wrong guy. Oh! Hmm. The legendary chef was actually my father. It was an incredible sight. All the famous pirates, larger than life, and all of them were shining. What is a pirate? 
Power. Power. Force of arms. Violence. The power to be in space. The power to always be yourself. Uh. I want to go into the wider universe. That's why I became a pirate. should be on its way. No, it'll be there. Maybe not everyone will come right now, but if they think of how things are and what we have to do, they should understand when they hear this. Let's go, everyone! Roger! Benton Maru, our destination, the pirate's nest. Full speed ahead! You look happy. Hmm? Do I?
Mari will turn tail and run! What's that? If they won't strike, then we run away from them at full speed and follow with an FTL jump. And if they do? We spin back around. If they zigzag at us, we take them head on. We'll give them a kick before they're on top of us. Give them a kick? Pretty funny, Captain. Kane, take care of it. Right, Captain. Ready those FTL coordinates, if you don't mind. I'll fire the main cannon here. Gunners and crew, take positions where the armor is the thickest. If you're in the wrong place during a frontal assault, you'll get blown out of hole. Gravity wave sensors are still maxed out. I'll try calculating the enemy's route, but we might just be relying on luck. Tomorrow, here we go! than any battle previously. Crossing paths in the vast depths of space. It's not romantic at all. It's nuts. <laughs> nice job, me. Huh? Are you going to compliment me? Well, I suppose. Barbalusa. My dad? Put it through to me. There you are, Captain Marika. Seems the Benton Maru took some damage. Yeah, just a little. Huh. How was your trip with your favorite captain, Chiaki? Was it fun? Ah! Uh, dad! You jerk! What are you saying? That's the pirate's nest, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, we sustained. 
sustained some real damage. This isn't the time to be impressed. While we're fixing it, let's make some of the upgrades we've wanted. We've been making a lot lately. Oh, I just got a message from the captain about that. Huh? I get it. So that's her plan, huh? I gotta hand it to her. Our captain has some interesting ideas. Huh? Okay, I'm in. Send it to our lady on the outside. So that's what we're calling her. I heard that you could introduce me to repair crews and merchants around here. I need to repair a spaceship. Show me what you've got, will you? Yeah, sure. But it'll cost you. I'm sure we can work something out. I imagine it will. We're a made-to-order pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, are you with the Benton Maru? I, I don't... You've got sharp eyes. So perhaps you really are the big, strong man who can help me. Please make the receipt out to the Benton Maru. What's up? Come to the infirmary. Just give me a second, sweetheart. Corey, do you read me? Yeah, I'm right here. Got it. Okay, I'll leave the rest to Sundaime. Have that update ready. Roger. It really is a waste. You should dress like that all the time. Nope. Not on your life. Right, right. Hmm? But aren't you playing with the comm systems a little much? Is that Hakame's plan? No. This was the captain's order. When it's done, we should be able to command an entire fleet. It looks fun, doesn't it? Doctor, it's Luca. That's unusual. Come in, please. It's about Kane. We have a problem. Thanks to you, everyone's heard the pirate song. When that song plays, we all know to come. Currently, the pirate ships here are my Barbalusa. Your Benton Maru. Kachura's Veracocha. Witherspoon's El Santo. And many other pirate ships. Are all en route as well. Touchdown in front of us! Impossible! I don't believe it! What's wrong? Give me a status report. There's something approaching! It's zigzagging! And it's fast! It's them! Prepare for combat, gentlemen! John Southern Island has been lost. Several other ships have also been downed. We may not even get ten. Well, it can't be helped. When they set their course for the pirate's nest, the rest is up to them. No one blames you. It'll take three days for the rest to get to the pirate's nest. Till then, have the Benton Maru repaired and fixed up. We've got lots to do, right? You're right, Captain. <laughs> Everyone ready to eat? Well, thanks, Chef. I'm starving. Huh? Uh, uh, uh? Yes. My younger brother told me about you. You appear to be doing well, Miss. Your brother? That old man's your... I'm the older brother. There are five of us in total. We each have our own restaurants. A chain? 
You could say it's something like that. I'll bring you some delicious food. <laughs> His meals are wonderful. He's everything you would expect from the legendary chef's son. So the chef has a brother. There are five of them, huh? I wonder what the other three are called. Chef? Cook? Master? That's irrelevant. Yeah, I guess you're right. It doesn't really matter. The food was good, right? The desserts were heaven. What will you do about the Pirate Council? Well, it'll work out. You have a plan, right? I can tell by your face. These are veteran pirates. How are you going to deal with them? <laughs> Just you watch. Mm. <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing it. Marika Kazo, captain of the Benton Maru, being a pirate. Bye-bye. Thanks for walking with me. <laughs> oh. The Space Worship Grand Cross. Its full designation is the Mobile Battleship Grand Cross, Alpha Prototype. I am Captain Quartz Christie. Where are you, Captain? The Galactic Empire? It's someone's experimental ship. That should suffice for now. A new weapon? No comment. Of course not. I see. Just as the report said, I'm very glad coming here was worth my time. Huh? The first pirate ship to escape the Grand Cross. Captain of the Benten Maru, Marika Kato. Why are you attacking pirates? Just because. They're good experimental subjects. <laughs> Let me ask you, what do you think of the pirates in this region? They just keep renewing their old letters of Mark. And all they use them for is to put on their pathetic little shows. Isn't it disgraceful? They're no longer pirates. They're not needed at all. And if they're not needed, no one will care if they're gone, right? That's all it is. I'll care. And everyone else will too. A lot of people will care. So we'll fight. Fight hard. <sighs> Fight, then, if you feel you must. But try not to let me down. Stealth? <laughs> Hello! Let's go! Use your thermal imaging. Contact station security. Roger. Are you all right? She said just as the report said. I guess we do have a spy after all. I've already taken measures. Isn't it about time for you to come out? How long have you known? The whole time. You're just way too obvious, Luca. But I learned a lot. Misa! What are you doing? I thought something was strange, but revealing yourself has helped. who can talk with a hole in her head isn't Luca. Who are you really? Uh. <laughs> Androids these days are made pretty well. You're the one who's been relaying the Benton Maru's course. 
trying to rat you out. Luca doesn't care about anything except her work. The idea of her caring about something else was suspicious. Now, your turn. ID data confirmed. That's the real Kane, no doubt about it. I don't know what it is, but you're hiding something. If it's gonna hurt the Benton Mario, you're gonna regret it. <laughs> it's fine, I know. Where are you, Ririka-san? Oh, after leaving the sea resort planet, I boarded a luxury liner. Space is great. The stars shine so prettily. I wish I were that lucky. Over here, our ship's in rough shape. It's getting repairs galore. Well at it. If you earn some money, you can have fun. Right now, the repairs are costing tons out of pocket. Oh, right. Your school. Huh? You won't be there for a while, right? You should have done this, but I notified them that you'd be out for two weeks. Oh, I did forget! Thanks, Rerika son Are you gonna pass this grade? My attendance will be pretty close. I'll make up the rest with finals. Well, I see then. Good luck. Yeah. Bye. Good girl. Now then. <laughs> Honestly, I think it must be fate. vacation plans ending up at a different resort planet? I did. Initially, I planned to watch an aurora there, but we saw plenty during that yacht race, so I went to a warm planet. It was quite a lovely place. So you're telling us that no one attacked you? Or kidnapped you? No, lots of men invited me places. Everywhere I went, I rather enjoyed it. giving all these to me? Sure. I don't see why not. I've already had my fun. Well... I must thank you. Yeah, I'll pass that along. I got to see the legendary blaster. She's actually quite good. How fortunate for you. <laughs> blaster? Unfortunately, we'll need to double our guards. We need to step up our security. That woman claimed that she was the captain of the Grand Cross. Yeah, that's what she said. Could she have been lying? Why would an enemy captain come here? Much less alone. I don't know, but I was thinking that she had the same feel about her. As what? She felt like a pirate. Hmm. <laughs> Captain! Trouble! What's wrong? A weird woman is in the conference room. Oh, my God. 
Shut up! Who are you? I am Ironbeard, and I make my home in the faraway seas. If you're with her, then you're against us! At the Queen's request, Quartz Christie, I have come to retrieve you. You would do well to surrender. Oh, really? It's been a long time, Chef. Yes, I've been waiting. Want to eat before you go? It's the super special menu today! No, I'll pass. I've come to fetch this tomboy. Hey, wait a second! Tell me, who the heck are you? I can understand Quartz's son. For whatever reason, she doesn't seem to like us. So you want to destroy the pirates? Then bring it on. But what about you? Marika. Are you supposed to be our enemy or our friend? The end of space. Huh? One man who can see into the endless future isn't enough. Only when others stand with him will we someday see the end of space. Captain of the Benton Maru, Marikakato, what is it you see? Marika having that conference right now? Gruyer said they've reached the pirate's nest already, so not to worry about it. I'm sure she's probably up there somewhere going completely crazy in front of the guys. Crazy! What do you mean by crazy? Well, regardless, we have to hold down the fort while Marika is gone. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, I really do hope it goes well. <laughs> This is pirate heaven! Yell at one another and talk with one another! But don't spill the food! Don't spit out! In the vastness of space, food is a treasure! Now, let us begin. <laughs> but one of us disappeared during all that. What should we do? Uh, leave him be. It could be a good lesson for the kid. He needs to learn a hard lesson. A pirate coming to meet a pirate? I'm amazed you'd accept the job. It's a job from the Queen. I planned to get the drop on them, but Marika Kato ended up running the show. And then you hogged the spotlight. I've been humiliated. Your safety is more important than your dignity. <laughs> Marika Kato was doing something similar regarding a pirate named Stone. Captain! <laughs> As anticipated, pirates in the frontier systems are cowards. What are you going to do? You know what? I don't care about the Queen or the Empire. If I kill you, I'll be safe. You honestly believe that? Of course! Oh! Officially join my crew. You're serious? This is a special freebie. Consider it a gift. The rules state no killing. Sorry, they found me out. I see. Ironbeard, son. It appears you've been handling Arcane. Thank you very much. Huh. Hey, Misa! Don't you hate me? What the hell are you doing out here? What? A new job? Did you tell Marika? I told her I was getting a new job. She's very supportive. Honestly. Anyway, older brother over there. Younger brother. 
Kane, I'm sorry to tell you, but I'm subtracting the days your brother worked from your salary. Huh? And your younger brother will have to pay a penalty for all the days he was on the Benton Maru without permission. Uh. I'll be sending the bill to the Parabellum. So, what did you want to learn? Hmm. What was so important that you needed twin helmsmen to learn? The pirates in this area are about to be given a choice to become true pirates or to cling to their letters of mark and remain pirates for hire. It will be difficult, but I do see hope. I like the look in her eyes. I have seen how the flow will change. To see such a sparkle in someone's eyes here in the frontier systems was truly an honor. It can't be easy for your daughter, having a parent put so much on her. She chose this path. But I honestly didn't expect this much from her. The Parabellum has left part. Got it! Hmm, this looks very tasty. Combining honey and spices from all over the Galactic Empire, aged for 500 years. This is the greatest dessert of my father, the man who brought together the members of the first Pirate Council. Ugh, they're not listening. Oh, the ultimate taste. A sweetness that melts the rough heart of a pirate. How many years has it been? Well, if memory serves, it's been since the last council, hasn't it? Now, when was the last council? Uh, I forget! <laughs> so, Captain Marika. Yes? We can decide the exact time later, but for now, who will take command? Command decide? The question is who will be the control point for the electronic warfare? Which means... Uh, hi there. I'm Cory, the Benton Maru's electronic warfare specialist. I will be the control point for the electronic warfare portion of this fight. Nice to meet all of you. Um, it isn't that anyone here is more important than the rest. It's just that the Benton Maru is the only one that's fought the Grand Cross. Keep that in mind. Bravo! Uh, Let's do our best! We're counting on you, Cory-san! Yeah! Let's all do our best for Cory-san! to me. I was sure those guys would prefer your outside clothes to these. An EW specialist spends a majority of the day confronting the truth. Uh, <laughs> well, how's the Benton Maru? Right, right. We've upped the sensors and radars by about 20%. Engine output has also been upped primarily by the thrusters. So Kane will be able to do some pretty crazy stunts. You just wait. Crazy? Like what? It's something for you to look forward to. Hey, it's the crazy. <laughs> so what's up? I was just thinking that if the other pirates knew we picked the date based around your final exams, what would they say? I mean, Captain Kenjo and the others seem to be pretty rough customers after all. Uh, Maybe I should tell them about it once we're done. It'll make for a funny story. No, 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 no. That could be the Benton Maru's little secret. Hey. <clears throat> Isn't it about time for the transmission to start? Oh, uh, yeah. Not looking forward to that, either. <laughs> this will be something to see. Or maybe something to hear.
response from them. Analyzing. Thank you. Lower your voices. Hide. Run. When I find you, I'll destroy you all. Understood. All I'm looking Quartz forward to it so much, I can't stop her. laughing. Grand Cross Captain Quartz. Let's play. <laughs> Man, she's nasty. But I like it that way. Bring it. Engine output stable? We're looking great. Sensor's good, too. Combat system's all green. Let's show them the soul of a pirate! Yeah! yeah. It would? 
They're moving randomly, but all three are really moving on a single plane. It's like a board game. Hmm. She seemed like someone who doesn't enjoy losing. A futile struggle. I'll start with you. I 
guess your brother did well during the last battle. Or at least it appears. Yeah, well, I'm better than my brother. <laughs> All right, just watch. with stellar military law.
Marika. Yeah, what? Come to a more vast sea. There's someone who desires that. <laughs>
Marika! Mommy, it's been forever. How are you feeling, Captain Kato? Ah, uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Chief Chan, Shiyuki Senpai. We'll be together for senior year. My friend. Hey, stop. Oh. Where's Marika? She has work today. I